What's going on? It's Asia Sky from DX Daily Podcast and Joe Budden, Joel Ortiz, Royster59, and King Crooked, collectively known as Slaughterhouse, dropped two albums, multiple EPs, and mixtapes over a roughly 10-year period. The group ultimately dissolved back in 2018 when Crooked announced his departure. As Joe Budden went on to pursue his podcast dreams, the other three members continued on with their solo rap careers. On March 10th, King Crooked and Joel Ortiz reunited for their new album called The Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse. Prior to its arrival, Joe Budden and Joel Ortiz wound up getting into an argument on Instagram Live with some pretty heated words being exchanged between the two. This. Fuck with the album, bro. Fuck with the album, bro. Fuck with the album. If you want nothing but fuck with the album, man. Tell people to listen to the album, son. Tell all that album, because fuck my dick. Are you kidding me? <laughs> suck my dick. Don't go there. Don't do that. You want bro, me to put people to this clown show? All right, I'm out, man. All right, one. Well, now that the project is actually out, Joe decided to invite Royce to Five Nine onto the Joe Button podcast to discuss the album. Because I mean, they did keep saying, "Just wait till you hear the album. Wait till you hear it. Listen to it." For me, it just was a little anti-climatic. Mm. Like, seemed like the roller coaster. Like it was like the wood roller coaster at Great Adventures. <laughs> like, it, you watch it go up, it's going up, it's going up, and then you expect the, you expect the, and then it's. A little let down. It felt like a mouse trap. They but, want you to jump. But with Absolutely. monetary gain attached. Yeah. It it speaks to their um their 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 sense of quality control. And this is a perfect example of shit that they do away from the group. Because when you step outside of what we're doing in the group, there's a such thing as things that you can do to bring down the quality of the brand. And there's such there's a such thing as things that you can do to raise the quality of the brand. And I never was really tripping until it started to turn into us getting blamed for all of the f- fucked up decisions that they make. After hearing Joe and Royce's thoughts on this project, do you agree or do you think they're being too hard on it based on all that's gone wrong between Slaughterhouse? And what did you think about the album? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast and keep it locked in to Hip Hop DX.